If you're looking for a super simple way of being able to create landing pages and a whole checkout process in a streamlined, simple manner with no expense, this video is going to be for you. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tets, and if you want to get the most out of WordPress, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon below to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time we add new content. Now, when it comes to landing pages, you want them to do one thing, and that's convert your visitor into something else, whether that's a subscriber, a buyer, or many other things. With this plugin, I'm going to show you how you can create that process right the way through from creating the landing page through the checkout process and even pages afterwards to say thank you and potentially upsell your customers to other things. How do we do it? Well, we use a plugin called Cart Flows. Now, this is the free version. There is a pro version which has a lot more functionality, but for what we're going to cover today, you can get by with just using the free version. So alongside that, we just need WordPress and we need to have WooCommerce installed. Once you've got those things in place, we are good to go. So I'm going to take you through the process of creating your landing page and your entire cart flow, pardon the pun, and I'm going to take you through the process of doing that and how we can link everything together to create an entirely seamless flow. So I've already gone ahead, installed WooCommerce and created the product that I want to sell. In this example, it's a nice ebook. I've also installed cart flows and we're now ready to go through the process of creating our first flow. Now, a flow is basically stages that we want them to go through to get to an end result. In our example, we're going to have a landing page that will give all the information, the benefits of purchasing our ebook. If they want that, they can click on buttons that will take them through immediately to a checkout page with our item added directly to it. Once that's finished, they're then going to go through to a thank you page, which we could then do other things like, say, offer upsells and so on. So the first thing we need to do is create our flow. So you can see we're in the cart flow section in the dashboard of WordPress and I've selected flows. Now we're going to click on add new. This is going to bring up the predefined templates we can use. Now you'll see some of these are marked as being pro and you'd need to have the pro full version of cart flows to get access to these templates because we're only using these as the basis. And then we can use something like Elementor, Divi, you know, any of the kind of page builders afterwards, we can easily just use the basis and then fine tune to get exactly what we want from that initial starting point. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and find an item that I think is going to be a good template for us. So let's go with this evergreen product. If I wanted to, I can click on preview and take a look at the different layouts we have. But what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click import. That's going to go through now and import all the various different steps or stages for our flow. So we've got three stages we're going to download. So once that's finished, we'll go through and we can start editing that flow. And there we go. There's the three stages to our flow, the landing page, the checkout, and the thank you. First thing we want to do is give this a name and we're going to call this Lightroom ebook. So I'll know exactly what this is about. Once we've done that, we're simply going to hit update to make sure we save this and commit the change you've just made. So let's take a look at the landing page first of all. We can view, we can edit, we can clone if we want to create multi-stages, and we can delete. We're going to click on edit, and once we've done that, it's going to take us through into the actual editing section. Now you can see this looks like a typical post or page layout. We've got the title, we've got the edit with Elementor, and various other things we want to do. However, if we scroll down, you can see we've got some card flows only options we've got landing page settings because we're currently working on a landing page and in there we have two stages we have short codes and custom script now we're not going to touch upon the custom script we don't need to worry about that and you can see that the next step is actually already pre-filled out because we've just used that wizard to create this simple flow so everything we need is in place now so we can go in and start editing the actual layout so let's click on edit with elementor let that load up the editor once we've done that, we can take a look at the template and start making any changes we want from that template. So the first thing we want to do is change this image because it doesn't reflect what we actually want to sell. So what we need to do is come in and click on the item, click on delete, and then we're going to just choose a second alternative image, insert our media, and you can see there's our ebook. If we want to come in and change this title, we can do that as well. So we can just say whatever we want in there, eight easy steps. So you can see we're just effectively using Elementor to make changes, add new items, all those kinds of things we want to do. All these buttons are pretty much automatically linked up to the next stage. You can see there's the link that'll take us through to the next step. The same if we've got the buy now button at the top. Obviously, if we wanted to change these for anything else, we could do. And if we wanted to scrap this layout entirely and start from fresh, we could do that just as easily. 
Now, if you want to make changes to anything else that's on the page, you can see we simply need to scroll down. We've got various different elements that are good at helping you sell a product or service or anything else you want to. Things like all the features this particular book would bring. Then we've got some validation by various different people saying how good this particular product, service, course, whatever it is. So frequently asked questions so you can streamline that process of answering the normal questions that people may have before they purchase. So even if you just use this as the basis and fine tune and tweak it to get your own design, there's already some really good pointers on how to create an effective landing page. So now that we've done the landing page, we've made the changes we want, we'll click on update on there and that will effectively save those changes for us. Once you've done that, we're going to come back out of Elementor. And once we finish there, we'll hit update just to make sure that everything is committed and we'll go back to edit our flow. Once we're back in there, we now have the option to go in and edit any of the other pages. So what we need to do now is just go in and set the product we want linked to our checkout page. So again, we're going to come in and edit this. And again, you see we've got a very similar layout. However, because we're dealing with the checkout page this time, we have a lot more options for the checkout layout. So we've got various different things like short code for this actual page itself. So we want to embed this somewhere else. We could take that code if we wanted to. The product we want to link it through to, which we will do in a moment. Order bumps, which you'd need the pro version for. The checkout design, if you want to fine tune and tweak the way that the checkout process works. Again, we have a lot of options, but there are various different things that are restricted because this is the free version. But you should have more than enough to create your entire flow without a problem. So you go to things like adjusting the number of columns, the skin that's being used, but we can change things like the primary color, the font family. If we want to enable some of the advanced options, we can do that. And you can see we now have options to go in, change the font family for the headings, the input fields, the size, the colors, all those kinds of good things are stored inside here. I'm going to disable that for now because I don't want to make those changes. I'm happy with the way they are. If you wanted to edit checkout fields, again, you'd need the pro version. So there are some restrictions, like I say, but you should have more than enough. Once we've done that, if we wanted to, we can easily come in and edit this actual checkout page. So we've got full control over the way this is laid out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this from the top there. We're just going to drop in our ebook again so it makes sense. We're going to follow through that process. Want to make changes to any of this? You can see we're offering a risk free money back guarantee to help us sell this product. All those kinds of things. There's our checkout section. Even though it's only displaying now in one column, when it's on the page, you'll see it'll pick up all the relevant styling and so on. So everything we need is in place on there. So we can update the design, but now we still need to go back and link it through to the product. So let's come back out of Elementor. And once we're back out of there, we're going to scroll down, making sure we're on the select product option. And from there, we're going to type in what we want. So we're just going to type in and there we go. There's our product. We're going to select that product. If we want to add a second, a third, a fourth, and as many products we want to use this same flow, we could very easily do that just by simply clicking on add new product, add new product, and go on and on and on. So we've done everything we want in there. We'll hit update. We'll update the overall page just to make sure everything is committed to the changes and we'll back out of this section. So the final thing we've got is the actual thank you page at the end of it. So if you want to make any changes to this, we can again do the same. So we can come in and edit this and you can see we've got some specific layout options. So we can change the color, the font family. Again, just making sure that all of these things tie in to make sure we've got a consistent look and feel. We've got advanced options if we need those as well. So you can see we can fine tune and tweak that. Also the things like the thank you field, so we can just enable and disable various different things like the order overview, the billing details and so on. Again, we've got the custom script, which we're not going to use for this point. And we've also got the short code, which allows us to create this page and then embed that into something else should we want to. So you can see we've got plenty of options available. So now we finish with that, we're going to come back out to our flow and everything is now in place. If we wanted to reorder any of these, if we created a multi-step landing page, for example, with multiple different pages, we could easily reorder those to make sure everything is exactly as we want. Now, the final thing I'm going to do is click on update to make sure all of the changes I've done to this are completed. And now we can take a look at this in action and see how everything works. So I've gone ahead and jumped over to our landing page. And as you can see, all the changes we made are now being reflected in the design all with the benefit of being able to use the page builder you're accustomed to. Like I say, whether that's Elementor, Divi, Beaver Builder. So if we scroll down, everything looks great. We can scroll down right the way through and all our FAQ and all our let's get started buttons and buy now buttons. Everything that takes us to the next stage is all in place. So let's just say buy now. And once we do that, that'll now take us over to the checkout page. 
And as you can see, our product is automatically added in there. We've got everything set up, styled the way that we want. All that consistency of color, of imagery, of everything is all in there. We didn't need to worry about touching anything to do with WooCommerce other than creating the product in the first place. And now we can go through the process of actually paying for our item, booking it, whatever you want to do. And then at the end of this process, once you place the order and you paid, you'll then jump over to the thank you page. So let's go to the cash on delivery option so we can test this out and I'll just pre-fill my details out just so we can place an order and see what happens when we jump over to that thank you page. So there's all my information for my order placed. We've chosen the payment method. I'm going to click place order. That's going to complete our order and then take us over to the thank you page, providing everything is all in place. And there we go. There's our thank you page. We could put anything we want on here. Like I say, we could have upsells with anything you want. But as you can see, it's a nice, simple, streamlined way of doing things. And we can control the entire process of creating that landing page, checkout page, and the thank you page at the end of it. So that's just how easy it is to use cart flows to create your landing page and the whole checkout process. Now, if you want to learn more about cart flows and how you can use this to replace the entire checkout process, take a look at the video in the corner right now. That's going to take you through and show you how you can use this process to be your overall global checkout. If you'd like to check out cart flows or you'd like to grab yourself the pro version, the link is in the description below. You can check it out from there. As always, I'd love to get your feedback on what we've covered in this video. So please drop your comments, questions and feedback in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love what we do around here. As always, my name has been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.